Hi, and welcome to another episode of Boozing with Boomers. I'm Dave, and I've been on a quest to learn how to make a great balanced cocktail, so please hit the subscribe button so we can go on this journey together. September is National Honey Month, so I thought it'd be a great idea to make another cocktail that uses honey syrup. The Bee's Knees is a tasty classic, and what's good is we can use the rich honey syrup that we made in the last episode for the Gold Rush, which is an extremely efficient use of our perishable cocktail ingredients, since honey syrup, or really any simple syrup, only lasts one, two, maybe three weeks at most. As usual, I will have the recipe of the syrup in the bottom, uh, in the description, um, but it's basically three parts honey to one part water that you stir over heat on the stove until it fully integrates, then cool, put it in the fridge. Should last one to two weeks easily. Well, back in the 1920s, the phrase bee's knees meant the best. And while today's cocktail is a tasty one, I'm assuming this might have been a marketing ploy because one of the stories that I read refers to the fact that the extra richness of adding honey helped mask the unpleasant taste and aroma of poor quality homemade gin, otherwise known as bathtub gin, that was served in the speakeasies at the time. However, another story I read in the PDT cocktail book by Jim Meehan credits the recipe from Frank Meyer's The Artistry of Mixing Drinks, published in 1937, that he created this sometime during the 1930s while tending bar at the Ritz in Paris. I think both these stories could be true, but Frank's is the first one known to be actually written down, so I will make this recipe today using PDT's recommended Plymouth Gin by Black Friars Distillery, which is the oldest working distillery in the UK, dating back to 1793. Now, it's a little bit lighter in juniper than most of the London dry gins like Tanqueray, um, but the botanist would be another good one. That's one from Scotland in Isla. And again, this is a more citrus oriented gin, but I think that goes really well with the honey and the citrus in this drink. So if you have another favorite gin and wanna try it with this recipe, please make it, try it, but compare it if you can, and let me know what you found out and what you think, and maybe we can make it with that gin later. So, very simple cocktail, three ingredients, which is always fun. Uh, and we're gonna start with the least expensive ingredient, but we're gonna go three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And I can't highlight enough, always, always make it freshly squeezed citrus. Um, then we're doing three quarters of an ounce of rich honey syrup. And again, one of, one of the main reasons you make honey syrup instead of just using straight honey, is if you've ever worked with honey or had a recipe with honey, it takes forever to get out of the bottle and by mixing it with a little bit of water, you're making it much easier to work with in cocktails. And then lastly, we're gonna do two ounces of the Plymouth Gin. And the other thing we learned like with the Gold Rush is because we are dealing with honey syrup, so even though we have diluted it a little bit, you really need to shake it uh, vigorously uh, to make sure it really gets integrated through, through the whole cocktail. And we will put enough ice in here. So, so what's interesting about this is we know the ice cools it down. We know to put enough ice in so it melts slowly, but the ice also is an agitator, right? So it is, it is banging around to make sure these all mix up. And what we've learned during COVID is we shake it 20 seconds, was about, about the time it takes to say the ABC song. So I will be right back. than normal. Um, we will then strain it into a coupe glass. Normally you chill this before you do it, chill it for five minutes in your freezer. You can also use a cocktail glass, but I happen to like the old-fashioned coupe glasses. I think they're very, whoops, make sure I got everything I need. And a little bit for the boomer. And then we will garnish your cocktail with just a simple lemon twist. I always like to rub it around the rim to give you that lemon flavor. I'm gonna try to float it on the edge, but I'm not gonna work. So let me see how I did.
Mm. So the rich honey syrup, I think, tamps down enough of the citrus. And I have a tendency with my sours not to like as much citrus. This is, this is a brilliant cocktail. I've also made it with half ounce lemon juice and half ounce rich simple syrup with the two ounces of gin. And that made a great cocktail as well. I also tasted this with four other people, both recipes. And what we came away with was both recipes are good. So I encourage you to use the original recipe, the two ounce, three quarter, three quarter, and compare it to the two ounce half and half and let me know what you think. Because what I'm trying to figure out is we learn from other people that have similar palates to our own. So as I make these cocktails, the reason I want feedback on what you think about the cocktail or what you like about the cocktail, it helps me plan future cocktails. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode with Boozing with Boomers. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe so we can go on this journey with Boozing with Boomers together. Thank you and cheers.